Hello everyone, Diwali is here and I'm sure the festival vibes are already on and you must be sharing greetings and wishes with your friends and family. How about creating a greeting animation on scratch and sharing it with your loved ones? Follow along with me. This is Subita from Nerd is Nerd and let's begin. So let's learn to create this greeting animation. Let me play and show it to you. When I'm clicking on the green flag, he says click on rocket. Let me do that. Interesting, right? The rocket is going up and when it bursts, it is displaying message on the screen. Now to create this animation, I have downloaded images and sound effects from internet. I found this website interesting where I could find most of my images. Now I will share this link in the description below. You can check out and download the images. And for the images that I have used for this project will also be shared in the description below. Now let's get started. For that go to scratch and click on create. You will get this page. Now let's delete the default sprite. Now here we are not going to use any sprites or backdrop from scratch. So we'll have to upload it here. So let's upload the backdrop first. For that go to choose a backdrop and click on upload backdrop. Now I have saved all the images in a folder. So I'm going to pick the first backdrop from there. That's it. Now let's move on and upload the next backdrop. For that again choose a backdrop and click on upload backdrop. Pick the next one and click on open. Now for the second backdrop we will be writing the customized message here. For that just click on T which is text and start writing the message. You can give your name, you can write your customized message here. I am going to write nerd as nerd wishes you. Happy Diwali. Now let's change the color. For that go to fill and you can change any color you want. I am going to pick something which is visible on the screen. Yeah this looks good. Now let's drag this and keep this in center. You can always refer here. Okay I am just going to pull a bit and drag it yeah and now to change the font style you can click on this and change it so i'm going to use handwriting here let me just drag a bit yeah this looks good now let's move on and upload the sprites before that i don't need this backdrop so i'm going to delete this now let's move on and upload the rest of the sprites for that go to choose a sprite and click on upload sprite. I'm going to upload dia first. Click on the dia and open. Now I'll reduce the size of this so that I can arrange it. Let me put it as maybe 40. Yeah this looks good. Now let's move on and add the rest of the sprites. For that go to choose a backdrop sorry sprite and click on upload sprite. Now here you can apply multiple, you can add multiple uh, sprites here. For that just click on control key and select all the images and click on open. Now you will have all that on your screen. We will have to reduce the size of all the sprites so that we can arrange it properly. Now let's begin with the rocket. So first I am going to reduce the size of the rocket. I'm going to give this as 20. That looks very small. Let's see if we have to increase it later. Okay. I'm not going to change the light size. Let's see that. Oh. Okay. I'll just increase it maybe to 105. Yeah. That's it. Now let's move on and reduce the sprites for size of all the sprites. I'm going to keep it as 50. All you have to do is click on the sprite and reduce it. That's it. Click on the sprite, reduce the size. Now the flower pot, I'll change it to maybe 30. 
and box of crackers 40 and the year we are done now let's arrange this so I'm going to hang the lights here the lanterns here smooth the air a bit and the first kid let him play with rocket and the second kid with flower pot and I leave the box here okay that's it let's move on now let's give some effects to our dia so that when we write the code it starts blinking like this now to do that go to dia and click on costume here and let's draw another oval shape inside this so for that just duplicate this first and click on convert to vector and click on circle this and just draw another oval shape inside and all you have to do is drag and place it properly and if you want to change the color you can do it from here yeah this looks good now let's move on and edit the next sprite that is a rocket so I want the rocket I want to flip the rocket for that just select the rocket and flip it so that it looks good on my screen so let's also change the direction of the rocket for that go to direction and just drag it this way and put it to maybe 120 if you're not able to drag it exactly you can just give the random manual values now let's start writing the code so the coding is going to be very simple for this animation uh, let's begin with dia now now for dia i want the dia to flicker when i'm clicking on the green flag for that go to events drag and drop when flag clicked and then go to looks and drag and drop next costume block now when i'm clicking on this you can see the the eye switching its costume let's add a forever block here so just drag and drop forever block and let's see so it's very fast to reduce the speed let's add a weight block here and now let's see okay I'll just change the wait time here I'll write 0 0.1 and see yeah this looks good now let's move on and edit the write the code for the next sprite that is box now here for this backdrop I have only these sprites so for the next backdrop I have dia and a box of crackers so we'll have to hide the box of crackers from the first backdrop so we're going to use very simple code which is hide and show block so just go to look drag and drop hide and show block and then go to events drag and drop when fan flag clicked and when backdrop switches to block now when I'm clicking on the flag I don't want this on the screen so I'm going to use the hide block here and the show block here now let's change this to backdrop 2 now let's see that's it now let's move on to the next sprite that is flower pot now I want the I'm going to use the same code here I don't want this on the next backdrop so just drag when flag clicked and when backdrop switches to and change this to 2 and we're going to sh write the same code which is show and hide let's do that show here and add hide block here that's it now let's move on to the next which is the kit now here I want the kit to say click on rocket for that let's go and use when flag clicked and go to looks and drag and drop say hello for three seconds and change this to click on rocket and let him say this for about maybe three or four seconds let's see yes amazing right now let's move on for the second kid I am using the same code which is the show and the hide block so let's 
uh, use the code from the flower pot so all I'm going to do is hold this and drag and drop it here now again for the next drag and drop it here now you have both the codes here that's it now let's move on to lantern the code is again the same so let's drag and drop so go to the flower pot or the kit and then drag this and drop it here drag this and drop it here now you have both the codes here now let's move on to lights now here I want the lights to flicker for that you'll have to add change color effect by 25 block when I'm clicking on this you can see the color is changing now let's add a forever loop here and add when flag clicked interesting right now you can reduce the speed of that by just changing the numbers like if you're giving 10 it is slow and if you want to increase the speed just increase the number that's it now let's move on to the next sprite that is rocket now when I'm clicking on the rocket I want the rocket to go up and change its backdrop once it hits the edge so for that we'll have to first set the X and Y position of the rocket so we have the X and Y position there here so we are just going to go to uh, drag this block and add when flag click so that whenever I'm clicking on green flag it is always starting from the same X and Y position now let's make the rocket go up for that go to motion drag and drop change Y by 10 block so when I'm clicking on this you see the rocket going up now let's add a repeat until block so that it keeps repeating until it hits the edge so go to sensing and drag and drop this block and it has to repeat until it's touching the edge right so just change this to edge and add when the sprite clicked and let's see because when I'm clicking on the sprite it is going up right now let's change the backdrop so when it is hitting that edge it has to change the backdrop for that go to look and drag and drop change backdrop to and change this to 2 and that's it now if you can see when I'm clicking on the green flag the backdrop is not switching back to 1 for that we have to write a code here so just click on stage the backdrop here and click on backdrop here and select the first backdrop and go back to the code now here when I'm clicking on the green flag so I want the backdrop to be the first one right so go to looks drag and drop switch backdrop to and change this to one that's it now let's do that okay now I have to ha hide couple of uh, sprites from the second backdrop also we need to add the sound for that go to rocket again and let's upload the sound for that go to sound here and click on upload sound and select the sound from here so I'm going to share this also along with the uh, other sprites so you can download this from there now go back to the code and just add start sound from the sounds block and let's see okay let me click on the green flag interesting now let's add few of the um, sprites which I don't need for the second backdrop so let's hide the rocket first so I'm going to use the show and hide block so just go to looks and drag and drop show block and hide block so when I'm clicking on the green flag show this on the screen and hide it when I'm when I'm clicking on the sprite when switching to the next backdrop that's it now let's uh, hide the lights for that go to looks 
drag and drop the hide and show block and go to events drag and drop when backdrop switches to and change this to 2 and hide here and show here and next is the kid so go to kid and again the same show and hide block drag the show block and add it here and hide block to when the backdrop switches to 2 now I'll also change the size of the box and drag and drop it here let's change it to I'll increase it to 50 yeah this looks good now let's see when I'm clicking on the green flag I have all the sprites on my screen and he says click on rocket clicking on the rocket it is switching back to the next backdrop and I only have these two on the second backdrop now let's rename this and you can share this with your friends and family let's rename as Diwali animation so that's it now you can share this with your friends and family so before I end this video a small message to you all Diwali is a day to light the diyas ignite the rockets and burst crackers also to spend quality time with your friends and family and clean and decorate your house and give a helping hand to your parents let me end this again now coming back to the video the text version of this animation making and the sprites that i used are in the description below do check it out thank you for watching and happy and a safe diwali to you all